Absolutely. There's a, there's a line that came up in our conversation when Ian and I were talking about this and it really touched me. And that was in a, when you, when we live in a time where anything that you believe you can find evidence to support it, how do we true to each other? How do we true to each other? And, and I love this analogy, Ian, of what you gave about truing a spoke in a wheel. Maybe you can articulate a bit about what truing means. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, I was uh, graced to be given some understanding of this from another teacher who will be on a forthcoming episode of the series, Stephen Jenkinson. Um, but what he shared was this idea that in an old understanding uh, to true was actually an achievement. Like it was a, it was a relational skill. And we still see that term to true, truing used in things like building, right? Where you actually have to true two uh, objects to each other. And so in that sense, the old ability to true in a situation, in a moment to craft meaning um, beyond, let's say, one's own personal truth um, invites the possibility of connection of a bridge of some kind. And, um, and that's so much about the intention, I think, with these conversations. And uh, with that, I'm uh, happy to welcome Charles. Welcome. Hey, Charles. Yeah, thanks, Ian. Uh, hi, Zamir. Happy to be here with you. I spent a little time um, as a uh, carpenter uh, mm. working for a builder and became familiar with the sense of truing that that you were invoking just now mm. to to true a line to true a board to bring it into alignment with with other things and so when i think of truth i'm like okay not so much in terms of objective fact but what does this align me to mm-hmm. and and yeah, that helps a lot when I'm parsing various information sources around COVID and various lines of conjecture uh, and these almost different realities mm. that we seem to be offered. Uh, like, which one is aligned with who I am becoming and the world that I want to live in? Mm. 